Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to make a pink clay homemade face mask. This mask is for brighter, glowing skin. This is an emulsified face mask that will hydrate, tighten, and soften the skin. This emulsified clay face mask is packed with skin loving ingredients. So guys, if you wanna see exactly how I make this face mask, keep watching. Okay, so let's dive right in. So the first ingredient is distilled water. We want a maximum hydration with this mask, so we're using 90 grams of distilled water. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in 4.5 grams of glycerin. Glycerin is our humectant and that's going to attract moisture to the skin. So next, we're going to go ahead and add in some avocado oil. And avocado oil is a very moisturizing oil. It is packed with vitamins C and E, as well as other nutrients that our skin loves. We're adding 15 grams of avocado oil. Now it's time to measure out our emulsifying agents. So we're going to be starting with emulsifying wax in F. This is going to help bind our oils and water together. And next we're also going to measure out some stearic acid. So stearic acid is a conditioning agent and it's going to help soften and smooth the skin. It also promotes more supple skin and a youthful appearance. So now let's measure out some rose clay. So we're going to be measuring out 21 grams of rose clay. So I love rose clay because it has very fine particles that act as a mild exfoliant. It's cleansing and detoxifying to the skin. It can help reduce redness, also inflammation and irritation. And it's also suitable for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you can certainly try rose clay. It can help tighten and tone the skin as well as promote a youthful appearance which is what this clay mask is all about. So this is hibiscus powder and it's derived from the hibiscus flower. So now let's go ahead and measure out six grams of hibiscus powder. So this powder has natural exfoliating properties just like rose clay. It also helps to remove dead skin cells and unclog pores. So it contains vitamins A and C. So hibiscus powder has a natural astringent effect on the skin. So it helps to tighten and firm the skin. And again, that's exactly what we want with this clay face mask. So let's move on to our next step. So in this next step, we're just going to take our glycerin and add it to our water. So these are two ingredients that are packed full of moisture and hydration. So the water is going to hydrate our skin and then the glycerin is going to attract water from the environment and this is going to help retain moisture in the skin. So when applied topically, glycerin forms a protective layer on the skin surface and this prevents excess water loss as well as maintaining hydration. So next, we're going to go ahead and start mixing in our oils and emollients. So this is our avocado oil. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a separate beaker. Next, let's go ahead and add in our emulsifying wax in F, and we're adding that right into our avocado oil. And then next, we're going to go ahead and add in our other emulsifier, which is the steric acid. So now that we have all of our ingredients together, let's move on to our melting phase and we're going to melt our emulsifiers and oil as well as our water and glycerin together. So now that our water and glycerin, as well as our oils and emulsifiers are melted, we're going to pour the oil phase into the water phase. And then we're just gonna stir it really quickly like I'm doing now. And we'll move on to using our immersion blender. So this is pretty much like a lotion or like making a cream. So what I'm doing right now is basically emulsifying the waters and oils together so that the oil disperses into the water. 
leaving us with a creamy, lotion-like consistency. And if this is your first time here on my channel, I have made other clay masks. So if you wanna check those out, click the link above to check out my other turmeric clay face mask. So if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. Let's move on to our next step. So I'm going to add in 1.5 grams of vitamin E. So vitamin E is our antioxidant. It has healing properties and it's very soothing to the skin. Let's just make sure that we stir in the vitamin E very well before we move on to the next ingredient. So now that our vitamin E is stirred in really well, I'm going to add in 1.5 grams of rosehip seed oil. So guys, this rosehip seed oil is amazing for adding moisture to the skin. It has anti-aging properties, it helps to brighten and even the skin tone, and it could help reduce the look of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, as well as acne scars. So guys, rose hip seed oil is a powerhouse to add into any of your homemade DIY skincare products. So this next ingredient is one of my favorite. It is lavender essential oil. So I'm mixing in 1.5 grams of lavender essential oil. So lavender essential oil is known for its calming and soothing properties and applying it to the face can help soothe and relax the skin, but do proceed with caution if you're applying any type of essential oils to your face or your skin for that matter, as they can be a little bit strong and you do need to do your research before using them. So now let's move on to our next ingredient, which is our preservative. I'm adding in 1.5 grams of optifin, and I'm just going to stir up my mixture extremely well before I move on to the next step. So in this next step, I'm adding in my pink hibiscus powder. So I'm just going to start out by stirring up the mixture with my spatula, but I know from previous experience that I need something a little bit more hefty and intense. So I'm going to be using my immersion blender to help disperse the powder into my cream. I absolutely love the color of this pink hibiscus powder. It makes your creams and your lotions look so amazing. So I will definitely be trying this out in another concoction that I whip up for sure. So when you're adding in your pink hibiscus powder, just make sure that you add in a little bit at a time so that your mixture doesn't start to clump up and it just makes it easier to mix the product up. And so again, you can either stir in your powder with a spatula or you can use an immersion blender. And I do find that I go back and forth between the two. There are certainly no written rules on what's right or what's wrong. Just do what works for you. So now it's time to add in our rose clay and I'm going to just add this in little by little so that my product doesn't clump. So now I'm just transferring it to another bowl so you can actually see how rich and creamy this clay face mask turns out. So now I'm just transferring my clay face mask into a little jar so that I can use it now as well as later because we did add a preservative. 
So guys, when using this face mask, keep in mind that yes, it can be applied to the face, but it can also be applied to the neck and decollete area because we do want our neck and decollete area to look as youthful as our face. So products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.